There's a lot of talk prior to the tournament who will end up in the final. A lot of predictions that it was going to be these two teams. But you know, many a times in recent past, the Solomon Islands have broken the New Zealand hearts. What happens tonight? Well, we'll know in about an hour and a half. And to Manong. Oh, that's class, and that's a wonderful finish. Jordan Ditford. First minute, great strike, and Ditford has got New Zealand leading 1-0. And here, again, he's grabbed that opening goal, but look at him beat Missy Tana, and then with the right foot to the far post, no chance for Chaliata. McEntee for Martin. Oh, that was uh, Stephen Ashby. Sorry, Ashby Peckham. Sia Kasute. Ethan Martin with the break. Oh, Charlie Atta, great save. Marlon Sia. Solomon's go on the counter. Oh, he lost position of that. Now, here's trouble. Adam Paulson. But very good work that time by Solomon Islands to get back their team. Antonov had the touch. Big shot came through that time from Kasute. But the New Zealand defense hold on. Another one. Oh, great save, Antonov. He read that well. Stretched the leg out to block that. Boy, he's good. Malon Sia. And that's a great goal. Malon Sia. Just like that, the Solomon strike. Wow, you know, we've been talking about the two, number five and the number six for Solomon Islands, Cliff and Missitana, and this man, Marlon Sia, cool, calm, collective. New Zealand, work it from the back, Jordan Ditford, skipper Wisniewski. Now Wisniewski advances, brilliant! He picked up his man well, and Rahan Ali on the money with that one, Wisniewski. Great pass, great goal, New Zealand lead, 2-1. Wisniewski again, the creator, the orchestrator, he looks up, he just splits the Spalderman's defence. Rahan Ali has proven to be a goal scorer. Into that second goal of New Zealand, absolutely brilliant. Now, here come Solomon Islands, Jeffrey Bulle. Shot. Al Khaleesi. Plays for the Manukau United. Now opportunity, Ethan Martin. And Ethan Martin gets his sixth goal. But what a time to get a goal in the final. Ethan Martin makes it 3-1. Yeah, again, Al Khaleesi onto the pitch seconds ago. Ethan Martin, he was someone the technical group was talking about earlier on today. Ethan Martin, great, cool finish. Oh, good strike from Rahan Ali. Solomon Islands working too hard, and the shot comes in. Al Khaleesi has come on to add so much power, and Antomanov called up to palm that away. Corner kick, Solomon Islands. What a strike from Arnold Mailuma. Alice Mana, another great save by Antomanov. Oh, he's good. Now opening that way as uh, New Zealand win it now. Rahan Ali, Rahan Ali. He's got Wisniewski in front, but uh, oh, Rahan Ali got a second bite at that one. And Chaliata was up there, lucky for Solomon Islands. This game played at pace. Marlon Sia. Sia. What a shot! Hits the framework! Marlon Sia! New Zealand dictating terms. Now Rahan Ali, Charlie Atta with a great sliding save. And Solomon Islands try and counter. Cut off again by New Zealand as they come back firing. Ditford. Atta gets it. And he takes it up. The flying keeper. Now Ellis Mana. Mana, oh, the dummy, Je Benjamin Mana to Ellis Mana. 
And New Zealand in the way that time was Jordan Ditford. To do the goalkeeper has played well today, Charlie Atta. But just that in New Zealand have really clicked and got it on in the right time of the tournament. Half time called here in the OFC Futsal Cup final. Ellis Mana. Maloncia turns in for Mana. He gets it on the second chance. Chance for Maloncia. Boy, he might not get a better one than that in this game. That was a good one. On the counter, El Khaleesi nearly got a goal for New Zealand on the other side. High drama at the Vodafone Arena. Here goes Jeffrey Mbule. Now that will be a foul. Can they regain their composure? Can they get the game flowing? And can they, can they fight back? They're a world-class team. They can do that. SB Al Khaleesi, Atta in the way for two, Lalo at the back. Boy, New Zealand, unlucky. Wisniewski, here's a chance. Oh, uh, Hamish Gray. Now, Solomon Islands on the breakthrough. Good work by New Zealand. Maloncia. Mailuma, Sia, good touch by Solomon Island. Sia trying to push it back for. Oh. oh, that's a kick off the ball, right? A red card that's out already. Yep, there you go. Red card. Malon Sia. No change to the half time score. Still 3 1. Rahan Ali. Lays it back. Wisniewski. Maluma came in the way. Twig. Gray. Rahan Ali forces Atta to come up with that save. So Atta had to head that. And that's into the goal. Rahan Ali. What a touch right in front of the keeper, Charlie Atta. And New Zealand get the first goal of the second half. Rahan Ali. Seventh goal now for him. Just a touch, you know, the shot that came in from that uh, right side. Rahan Ali, the right place. Again, Ethan Martin drove it. And just a touch past Charlie Atta. Atta couldn't do much about them. Oh, Solomon throws one back. Benjamin Mana. What a strike. Benjamin Mana makes it 4-2. And the Solomon Islands are now back to full strength. Yeah, definitely a quick uh, kick in play there. And one of the Mana brothers slamming it by Sakhtimanov. He got all about nine, sec nine minutes or so left. It's going to be interesting. Solomon is back to full strength and full cheer from the stands. This is game on. New Zealand can't put their guard down. Solomon Islands across it goes. Oh, they've got it. It's game on now. It has to be this world class Solomon Island side. A foul on Jordan Ditford. And that's a direct shot. And Rahan Ali steps up to the mark. Rahan Ali! Eighth goal of the tournament. Joint top scorer now with Redley Nepal. What a strike. And he's got his hat trick in the final. Yep, just drove it. A well taken penalty. Charlie Atta came forward to try and narrow the angle. But Rahan Ali, of course, as you mentioned, top joint scorer Redley Nepal. He was off the pitch when the 10 meter penalty got awarded. He got sent in to take it and he's off again. Jordan Ditford. Martin raking that downfield. Uh, lovely back heel. And Martin was there. Al Khaleesi. Class in that one. Myloma. Atta. Mule. Elismana. Myloma. Elismana. Tried to turn that in. 
Maluma with the shot. Bule, Mana, Bule, Maluma. New Zealand holding in defense. Atta, Maluma. Dead fat. Which news key? Ran Ali Martin, good save by Charlie Atta. Now, here comes Solomons on the counter. Good save by Entomanov. Good strike by Jeffrey Bule also. Ellis. Charlie Atta. Junior Mana. Ellis Mana. Bule. Ellis Mana. And going in there, sliding to block that run, Ali. We are nearing the end in this one. And it seems like New Zealand will get... Oh, they've got another goal! Stephen Ashby Peckham. Six goals to two. And now you can be sure that he has sealed the deal. It'll be very tough to come back from this position. Yeah, Solomon Islands trying and Stephen Ashby Peckham you know, this is some uh, two or Solomon Islands coach raising his hand. But a yellow card splashed to uh, Captain Jeffrey Mule in the midst of all that. And uh, that's it. It's all over. The Solomon Islands tasting defeat in the final. New Zealand score a special win. New Zealand get a historic win. New Zealand, after leading by 3-1 at halftime, They've beaten Solomon Islands, six goals to two. New Zealand celebrate. They deserve the win, a historic New Zealand win today. Marvin, congratulations on taking out the OC Futsal Cup 2022. How are we feeling? Uh, pretty excited and pretty proud right now. A lot of work has gone into this team and, and players that are back home and everyone back home. I know a lot of people will be watching and just be proud of the boys. What did you make of this week? It must be great for futsal development across the board in Oceania. It's nothing like playing games. So we're really uh, thankful for IFC for putting on the tournament. Um, I think everyone's appreciated getting out on the court. And I think I'm really excited to see where this tournament sort of moves next um, for next year and the standards of everyone improving. And where's your next for the New Zealand uh, futsal team? Look. <laughs> That is brilliant. That's one for the highlights reel for sure. Marvin Eakins and the New Zealand team coming through there. Oh, they leave him now and they can continue. Uh, where to next? Um, yeah, look, we will be back to training, to be honest. We, we know that the long-term goal is to get to the World Cup and we know that all the teams are going to bounce back and really make it hard for us. So we'll do our best to make sure these guys um, don't catch up and we keep striving ahead. Enjoy the win. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.